looks like we've got Mark Sullivan here. So if Mark's here, we can get rolling. Um, this is our first uh, our first webinar of the new year. We're pretty excited. We took a break uh, last couple weeks, and uh, we've been doing some vacations and some holidays and things like that. So we we probably didn't get as much done as we should have, but we want to share with you a few things uh, that we've been working on. So Maida, what, what order do you guys want to go in? Mm, Carlos is going first, then Badin, and I will be the last one. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you got, Carlos. Let me make sure everybody can share their screens here. Thank you. I was checking my microphone. Okay, I want to show you something, uh, a new feature. And for that, let me share my screen. This is related with your contacts in high level. Uh, and, and also those contacts that are uh, an IDX broker lead. So for example, we have Peter Scott here. I'm going to click here. And something new is this button, IDX button that will open the lead manager in a, in, a, in a window. So I'm going to click on that and I can see right here, the lead traffic, save searches, save properties, and IDX nodes. And I also can create basic search. So this is something new. Uh, you can also uh, go back, go to another uh, contact and you will see the IDX button. In order to work, you need uh, to have the custom value set up because it depends on the lead ID specified here. So this is something new that we are very excited to, to share with you and we hope you you use that. So let me ask you a question, Carlos. This, this is basically for, for uh, people that, is the, is the audio less? A little bit. Oh, just a second. Mine's terrible. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. So this is basically, if we have a lead, we can just go hop right in. We don't have to go on a dashboard right there from their contact information side of, of high level. So it saves us some steps, right? Exactly. Okay. Very nice. Before you needed to go to your dashboard, click on the lead and see all the info. But right now you can access all that, all that info right here in your contact details page. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. Vadim, do you have something you wanna share with us? Yeah, sure. Um... Well, we've been working hard on those workflows. Let me share the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I know that I showed them in the last webinar. Um, yeah, but here, like, we made sure that it's working correctly. And this like uh, those workflows are essential. For example, if the client um uh, if the client saved the property or the user saved the property, right? On IDX pages, um you're gonna be notified. Uh I mean the agent gonna be notified, the assigned agent or if the user saved three properties, this is this workflow for that. So assign agent gonna be notified. Also, you can schedule the mail out. For example, if you don't want to be notified right away, uh, you can schedule the mail out, for example, like every day at 12 p.m., right? And you're gonna see the list of saved properties uh, like per each uh, contact. Uh, the same way it works for safe searches here. Nice. So, 
uh here i want to show you like in real time how it works i want to show you uh how this uh this workflow for example save a property and three save properties i want to show you how it works so um let me share another screen here. I'll just stop sharing. Okay, this window. So, <clears throat> well, this is our demo account. I'm gonna be Peter Scott. And well, let me save the property here. Well, uh, the workflow has to be processed on go high level. And it usually takes like maybe seven seconds or eight seconds. So you can see here, I've got a message already, the email saying that Peter Scott just saved the property. Here's the contact, contact name, email, phone, and the property they saved so let's save another property and here you can see that I'm gonna get a notification here okay here's another property like I just saved another property this one and when I save the third property, another workflow gonna be triggered and I should get an email saying that I saved three properties. So let's wait for that. So I've got an email saying that I saved the property, this one. And there should be another email. Here you go. It says uh, that I saved three properties and here's the list of properties I saved. So Very this nice. is how it works. Okay, that's cool. And I think that's it for me. All right, thank you. I think that looks good. Thank you. Okay, I'm I'm going I'm going next. Uh, I'm going to show you several things, and this is all for IDX Broker, and you can find or you will find some of this feature in idxsalons.com. The first one is that we are going to push an update related to the lead connector dashboard, and we are going to show the anonymous visitors uh, their activity. So um, I'll be back. I have an example here. Um, this is how it's going to look. There's going to be, for now, a new tab in the DHL dashboard, and it's going to show the anonymous activity. And that is uh, people that haven't signed up uh, on IDX Broker, but we are, we are tracking the pages that they are visiting. And we are going to put here a link um, with the pages that they are looking at. Mm -hmm. um, another feature that we are working on is uh, the Facebook ads. And it's going to create an XML file. Um, for that, we're going to use something called Save It Links that are used inside IDX Broker. Uh, with, uh, you can generate a save it link that is like a new page where you can set up like, for example, I only want to display listings up to $1 million, million and that were listed in the last seven days. And with that, um, I'm going to show you an example. Uh, with that, you are going to be able to generate this X, XML file and start uh, generating these ads for Facebook. 
So here, um, this is the page. And here I, I am showing all the saved links that this account has. For this test, I'm using the saved link called Homes in Fort McMurray. And I hope I have already added it and it generated uh, this link, that is this one. And it's uh, getting the information of the listings in this format. And this is one of the formats uh, that Facebook um, asks for to generate um, the ads. Right now we are, um, we are going to test it and we are looking for volunteers to test it. So if you want, you can uh, send us a message. And finally, I'm going to show you um, the lead connector sites for agents. It's very similar to the lead connector sites or one-click sites that we already have, uh, but this is meant to be used uh, for agents. The idea is to create a high-level website for each IDX broker agent. What we are going to add, we are going to add the IDX broker pages associated to the agent and the, some IDX add-ons widgets that we have exclusively for agents. This is going to save you time and money because in case um, you have like 20 or, I mean, you can, you can have like 50 or 100 agents and this is going to save a lot of time and you're going to be able to create high level websites for each agent. Uh, something important is that this is only for office accounts, IDX broker office accounts. Uh, right now it works with different high level sub accounts, one per agent and it doesn't include the IDX Connect service. We have our Astra and Cancun template, and I'm going to show you a live demo of how it's working. Um, here for now, you're going to see uh, below in the same page of the lead connector sites for IDX broker at the bottom, there's going, there's going to be this option to cre create uh, the website for the agents. And here there is going to be an option to pay for it. There's going to be a Stripe link. I have already set up this on my local environment. So I'm going to go here to the one-click settings. And here it's going to show all your IDX broker agents. You need to set um, the high level sub account because we are going to create custom values for that sub account and also uh, generate the IDX addons widgets for that agent. So I'm going to click here on create custom values and it's going to show a similar uh, multi-step form or wizard and you need to fill the information. So I'm going to click here. Ah, first I want to show you something. I'm sorry. Here I have already cloned the website and it doesn't have any widgets, neither the IDX broker links. It looks like this. It doesn't have communities. And well, I'm going I'm going to continue with the with the form. I will leave uh, the values as they are. These are the widgets that are going to be added, but associated to the agent. I'm going to click here next. Uh, for now, we need the API key of the sub account. And I'm going to select a form. This is our demo account, so it's only showing all the property types. And I'm going to leave this uh, values, but not, here you can select a city or a county to create uh, three communities. I'm going to use Aloma and Aventura. And here is going to start creating IDX broker pages or communities, one for um, each city or county that you selected. And this is going to take maybe a couple of minutes but it's going to add um, some widgets that we have that are the um, some stats about the community, a map, and chat GPT content uh, 
that was well it was generated uh, but by artificial intelligence but with this you can create these community pages very easily so this is going to take um, some minutes hey, Maida, while that's running let me ask you a question yes so they're going to be able to make one of these for each agent in their office. Is that what you're saying? So it'll take you two or three minutes per agent to spin up a website for them. Is that is that kind of what the idea is on this? Yes, that's right. And the idea is that each agent has uh, their website. And I'm going to show you how um, the IDX broker pages work. So whenever a new user goes to this website, mm -hmm. uh, this new lead is going to be assigned to that agent. Uh, here we are sending the data to high level. And just a couple of seconds and the page is going to be reloaded. And can I ask with those agents on that team, do they all have to be in one MLS, one city, or can they be in multiple cities spread out all over the state or multiple states? I mean, yes, they can be in different cities. Um, the communities are going to be, uh, I mean, each agent can be on a different community or city or county. Mm -hmm. What is, it, it's important, uh, for example, here we have created these, um, well, these are the custom values that are going to be sent to high level. And I don't know if you can see here that Every link has this agent header ID with a number. This is the ID of the agent. With that, uh, I'm going to refresh here the page so you can see that it loaded the links and the communities that I have I selected before. So with this, whenever I go to these IDX broker pages, it's going to have this agent header ID. So whenever a new uh, lead signs up, it's going to be assigned to this uh, agent. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, these are some widgets that we created. I'm going to refresh the page. But we have here the OVNI search. Uh, here's going to display a map. And also whenever someone clicks um, on one of these properties, it's going to show um, the agent header ID here at the top. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it's also going to have these communities that we added with the widgets and the content. Here is the Coral Gables. These are the widgets and the uh, content generated by ChatGPT. Very <laughs> nice. And that's all. Right on. Well, thank you, Maida. Thank you. Appreciate you sharing that with us. Um, so we have uh, a few minutes for q and I don't know, Mark and Benny, if you guys have any questions. You've got um, three of our developers here. That if I probably can't answer very many of your questions, but these guys can. So, Yeah, on the uh, – um, when you're – when – when you have an office account and we're creating all these websites for, for all the agents and their own sub accounts, um, I'm assuming that the agent would be able to choose their own communities for their, for their website as well. You know, it's like some people would live on the South, be on the South side of the city. Some would be on the North side and they would pick uh, individually. They would pick different communities. I would imagine they would get their, they would be able to uh, pick their own. Yes, that's right. And we haven't added it yet, but we are planning on adding subdivisions and zip codes in this uh, form so they can even create more specific communities. And then an another thing that we that high level just released in the last week was the ability to do what they call folders with custom values. So this is actually going to allow us to do this same thing 
um, inside of one sub account. So you could have Century 21 Miami has one sub account inside of high level and it'll actually create, you know, 100 websites inside of there for one for each agent. But that's that's coming still, you know, they just they just open that possibility up to us. So now we have to go in and code for that. So we're pretty excited about that too. Um, did you have any other questions, Benny, that you wanted us to address about any of this stuff? No, I think that that uh, helps. I hate that I missed that first little bit, but I'll hopefully watch the replay. Uh, okay. See this. But um, no, I think I'm good. I'm just uh, ready to get it rocking and rolling. So. Okay, good. Mark, do you have any other questions? I know you and I spoke yesterday, I think, and so you're probably tired of talking to me, but maybe these guys could help you out with something. Mm -hmm. Never, never tired of talking to you. Um, the, uh, no, I, I'm just trying to take in some of the, some of the information there. So, um, from what you just said, um, so we'll be, we would be able to eventually, cause you said you still have to code it. So we're going to be able to, to choose whether or not we give, su uh, individual sub accounts to each agents or, we could just have an office with the same sub account and then their agents be, be users yep. um, instead of their own sub accounts. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, is there a, I, I guess what's the, what, what's the major, you know, pros and cons of doing it I, I, either way outside of like, you know, maybe outside of the obvious, but like, um, outside of just organizational, you know, on the back end side, what's the, what's the, what's the benefit of, of, of having them all be users instead of giving them their own sub accounts? So I'm, I don't, I'm not certain, you know, all the pros and cons to be real honest with you, but a couple of things that come to mind for me is that if you're, you know, for one real fast one is if you have, um, for example, we have some people that are just starting out with a real estate marketing agency and they have the $97 a month plan that has three accounts on it. So they have one that they're using. They can actually set up two clients. Like those could be two offices for oh, 97 sure. bucks a month. So I mean, that first, that's one big benefit. Um, the other thing is, although when you're, when I, I believe that it's set up so that different users have access to different leads. You can set who owns the lead inside of high level in the sub account. Some people just feel better about having each agent have their own sub account because if something goes sideways or, you know, you got this Mark guy and he's loading up all these pictures, or I want to give him unlimited access to his own high level sub account. Um, it's, it's more of a powerful solution. If, if that makes sense. So, I could see where if you have the 297 or the 497 uh, high level account, you would, uh, there's definitely some advantages of just saying, hey, we're going to give, you know, throw this thing out and, and give everybody their own sub account. As far as the website piece of it, I don't, I don't know that that makes a huge difference. I mean, I don't know that a lot of those things would make a huge difference, but there may be other things besides the IDX piece that you're using in there that you would find some benefit um by doing it separately but you can you would be able to give each agent their own website on that one sub account if if that's the way you want, wanted to go so sure. let's say you got an office of 100 agents um everybody gets their own website everybody wants on but then you could offer the sub like their own sub account you could offer like a premium agent or a pro agent you know where the agent can upgrade it themselves for more features yeah, some, you could probably do something like that. I mean, I, I I honestly, I haven't really explored that too much, but there might be something, you know, that agent, maybe they, they're going to have some their own workflows or whatever types of things, right? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. What, one of the things that I wanted to touch on real quick is I think Maida discussed it a little bit was this Facebook um, XML ads thing. That's actually a big deal. We're going to bring that back up in our next uh, webinar. We're going to be posting some videos about that. Um, that's a feature that we saw YLOPO has. And 
it's the ability to get save searches and create Facebook ads uh, and, and have all that data. Um, that's that's a pretty premium feature. We're pretty excited about that. So we're going to be reaching out to a few people. If either one of you gentlemen have somebody you're working with that's doing ads like that and you want to test it, that you're welcome to do that. But we have some other people that are that are doing Facebook ads, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing some testing with that. So we're pretty excited about that. We think that that's gonna give as as again as a, as a real estate marketing agency. A lot of them are, are running these Facebook ads and the ability to do this automatically and just load that XML file. And then as that data updates, it's going to update the data inside of um, inside of Facebook. You know, what Facebook can pull that and it, it's going to pull current data off there. So so they uh, could they could they could run it continuously. And yep. just say we're going to put X amount of dollars per day to this to this campaign. And then that. Po the post itself, which the data would change there. Yeah, the, the data changes and, and Facebook can can cue that data or um, query that data is the word I'm thinking of. So it's it says something like IDX addons.com forward slash Facebook ads forward slash, you know, something something dot XML. And that something something dot XML as the listings update day after day and week after week, that data that XML files updating for them. When, every time they pull that XML file, it'd pull fresh data. So Facebook is, let's say if we're talking running an ad and it's a five to $600,000 range, I'm, I'm asking yeah. if next week, whenever the ad is distributed, it's new houses and like yep. five to 600,000. And then the following week, yep. it's new houses based off of what's on the market. Or yep. So it, it may show, I'm not, I, I'm not sure exactly how we're pulling that on the XML file, but you probably keep the old houses too, right? Okay. Unless they sell. So the ones that sell out, say you started with 10 houses this week, three of them sold and you get two new houses. Now you have nine houses for sale this week. Okay. As opposed, yeah. So that's, that's the idea behind that. So it automatically updates and it's going to allow that automation of those Facebook ads, which is a big piece. So it, it turns Facebook or your ads into an IDX. Um, a little bit. You can do that with your ads. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah. When we have some clients that are doing stuff like that and uh, you know what, I'll have to be honest with you, Benny, I'm, I'm a little bit Facebook stupid and uh, actually a lot Facebook stupid, <laughs> I should say. So I don't even understand how that works, but our, these guys were able to go in there and look and see how this was built and, and, you know, but when you obvious. when you mention Wilopo, everybody that I know that's using Wilopo, you know, between their ad spend and the platform and everything, they're talking, you know, four to five thousand a month. Yeah, you know, the low end and the platform. I think and it's been a while since I checked mm -hmm. it, but the platform, you know, with Wilopo, you get a bot uh, which we can train here. And yeah. what you're saying with the Facebook ads, when you mention Wilopo to be able to compete with that any at all. Uh, and just to offer it at a, you know, 500 a month, a thousand a month with your website and, and have the chat and everything that's, you know, half the price of while Opo. So that gives you more money that you can do for ad spend. Sure. Yeah. And that's the idea behind that. And so this is actually a free feature that we're offering uh, for our clients. And uh, we think that what happens is that like you're saying is when you have a client now that instead of spending 4,000 bucks a month, they're spending 2000 with you, or they're spending that same four and they're getting a bunch of ads and they're getting leads and they're getting business. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to chase them off with a stick. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. Because they're, yeah. they're, they're going to be real sticky to you because now they've got their website. They've got their IDX feed with you. They've got their CRM with you. They're running their ads with you. They're getting leads with you. I mean, they're, they're, they're hooked up. You know, for me, it's you got my client funnels, uh, niche, niches and uh, niches that I'm doing, chatbot. Um, in addition to that, a Zillow scrubber to pull the data from that to market to it. Your your first uh, listing clients, you know, I mean, you you can start building a huge value. Yeah. The value truly is not any fake, but when you're comparing of what Wilopo is doing and you're comparing and you pull it all together. And if you had to pay Wilopo and you had to pay uh, the different platforms, you're you're easily bringing, you know, four or five thousand dollars value at five hundred a month or whatever your offering is to each agent. I think that that's good because agents 
doesn't have the money to spend four thousand dollars or the other the mental fortitude to pull all this together so i, I like the techie guys in the room pulling this together for us <laughs> well you know one of the things and I, I you've probably heard me say this on some of these meetings i've been in but, <laughs> Um, I grew up, I, I just told Mark this yesterday, so he's going to probably mute me, but um, I grew up in Northwest Arkansas where Walmart's based out of. And one of the things that I, and, and so we were just uh, um, always in that culture of Walmart. And one of the things that Walmart uh, found was that when the economy got tough, they flourished. Mm -hmm. Right. Nordstrom's suffers when the economy gets tough. Dillard suffers. Saks Fifth Avenue suffers. Walmart flourishes. Yeah. And and I think right now, uh, generally, real estate is is tight compared to where it was over the last two or three years. And so um, the fact that we're adding all this stuff as as free um, and, and you guys are building out these solutions for people that they're going to save money. That's what these real estate offices and these real estate agents are trying to do right now is they're trying to find ways to get better at what they're doing and save money while they're doing it. And and that's the that's what we have to provide for them. Yeah. Um, and the biggest thing is like whenever you because I know there are there is a move away from Lalopo because you're not getting the results that you're used to, meaning what you spent three years ago two years ago on ad spend of let's say you're spending a two thousand dollars a month ad spend what you're getting from that is not as much so they're having to spend you know four thousand six thousand to get the same exact response from it and when you're having to spend six thousand dollars but yet your income is going down <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> it doesn't match it's those, hard those are tough yeah those yeah, are tough it, and then the, that's where a lot of successful teams that are running the wild low pro to give to their teams are just sending their agents away and saying, hey, I'm just going to bring my ad spend bound, get rid of my team and only focus on myself. Well, then all those agents who have been used to getting fed, everybody suffers. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. But I think it I think it opens up a, a great opportunity for us and and for these you know, you folks that run these real estate marketing agencies, as we provide great value to these clients, that it, it gives us an opportunity to build businesses right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when, it, when, mm -hmm. when everybody's flourishing and there's just money falling out of the sky, people don't need IDX. They don't need CRMs. They, I mean, people are just knocking on the door of the, of the brokerage buying houses. So mm -hmm. everybody has to up their game right now. All right. Do you guys have any other questions before we wrap this up? I do. Yeah. And I just I just have a question on like if you can share with him. If you can or don't know, that's fine. Do you know what KD Core uses for IDX? Is it IDX broker? No. Do you know if that's what they use? I know they don't use IDX broker. Most okay. of these CRMs have their own um custom IDX solution. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. None of none of the big CRMs use IDX Broker or iHome Finder uh, for their solution. Most okay. of them have a custom solution. It, um, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for uh, and I, I meant to ask you this last night, but is there a um for for those of us that are that are that are in building mode and don't have any clients uh, specifically for this? Is there a um, is there a sample feed that we could build something on to show somebody? Like if I said, Hey, let me show you what this would look like, you know, in a, in a, in a sales meeting where there'd be like some kind of sample data or something, it wouldn't have to be the city, but just, you know, something, Hey, this is what it would look like. Now use your imagination, put your own brokerage here. Um, or build something out for them to where we could put that stuff there and it just be sample data. Are um, you talking about a website or are you talking about the Facebook data? I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the Facebook data. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like a website or what the solution that we would bring to them, uh, like where we're selling them, you know, mm -hmm. our whole package here um, mm -hmm. be able, to be able to show them. So are you a licensed real estate agent? I'm not. Okay. So you're, you're trying to build out to where you can sell to agents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so 
I mean, I can help take, I mean, I don't mind this as an open discussion, but I don't mind taking this off the offline um, because I'm going through this route. I don't mind going through this route using some of my agent's license and then you'd be able to look over the shoulders, you know, of one of our agents. But I would say that is one solution or B, find an agent nearby you, an agent online, somebody that is close by and say, listen, you know what, I'm going to do this for free. Um, I want you to set this up and rock and roll or for 90 days, this is what's going to be free and pay the $90 IDX, pay that, you know, or say, hey, would you like to join my beta program for this? It's only $90 a month or $120 a month to cover your expenses. And then you use that as a beta and then duplicate it out for that. So you can maybe use one of my agents on that to look so that you can see over the shoulder uh, or you can find an agent and fig build it out. So that that's what I recommend. But go ahead, if you James, if you had something better. Well, that, that's very generous of you, Benny. So I'd, I'd take Benny up on that offer, uh, Mark. And 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 what he said is true. We we have to do the same thing. I mean, when we we first started here at Realty Candy Man, I, I was the hardest part was getting that first client because then once you get a working demo, now you can sell the thing. So yeah. I, I I would do that. What he says yeah. is get somebody to do it with you. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. And one, um, yeah, Benny, that's very generous of you. Um, my, uh, uh, I'm a I'm in I'm in the mortgage industry, um, and I I think probably what I'll do and what I had planned on doing was grabbing one of my one of my good agents that sends me business and I'll just be like, Hey, I'll just do this for you. No skin off my back. They're sending me business. Right. So, I mean, it's, I'll just use some of the money I've been making off their referrals to, to build that up, you know, and to say, Hey, you know, we'll do this for, like you said, for like 90 or a hundred days and I'll just pay his, I'll pay his IDX broker fees. Um, that's, that's a good, um, yeah, that's a good recommendation. Um, but to, to to jump on what Benny said, James, like most of them, if they're using KV Core, they're definitely not using IDX broker, right? Nope. Huh. nope. One of the things is, is whenever I, I this is what I'm learning, uh, and I hope this is okay uh, for me to share. When you're looking at the real estate agent out there, you're looking at, and this is how I go after agents and building my funnels and everything out. Uh, I'm looking at like what I'm offering good, better, best. And what I look at that is, is it the entry level agent or is it the agent that needs more loving, meaning they have more dollars to spend, meaning they have more income or they have a bigger team. So whenever I'm looking at how I'm building this out and setting it up is you have three type of agents out there. They want a website that is just pretty and they're willing to spend eight, 10, 12 grand to get a beautiful website. And it's really not even around IDX at all. It's just a slick business card, right? Then you have your agents that is totally revolved around IDX and that's it. And then you have a group of agents that are really more of what I call, um, uh, and this is really the niche that I'm going after is content-based agents, meaning they have the TikToks, they have the uh, Instagrams, they have the Facebook, they're uh, YouTube, they're, they spend a lot of time in video, they have people following them around. And so they need a content driven um, website with IDX uh, engaged or attached to it. But when you log on to them, they kind of as the hybrid of the pretty website and the IDX, they need something in between. And they want to bring value. So with me as whenever I'm bringing value with uh, my clients, in my funnels, I have niches where you're talking about divorces, uh, niches where it's for probate, niches for first time home buyers. And those niches also is a two level where it's taken me to the business to business to where I can get the probate attorneys referring me. And that's where my and my uh, divorce attorneys referring to me. So whenever I'm working with that with an agent and I can go set up the funnels and the website, don't get me wrong, I have the IDX, we need the IDX platform, but if I can bring additional value to that, to where they're getting, you know, one to two closings every single month based off of attorney referring them, you, they're never, never going to leave you because of what you just brought them. So yes, I'm providing this, everything that James is helping provide, but where, which when, which agent group do you go after? And that's where I guess the conversation when you're going after that and getting that repeat, the business to business referrals. Now we're not going to leave the individual to individual and the open houses and the normal traditional aside. We're just going to, we're teaching to bring. So that's the value that I'm bringing to where my clients pay a little bit extra. 
But with that, I prov I have VAs and stuff. And so I need to charge a little bit extra because I got a little bit more expenses, right? So mm -hmm. that's where you just need to figure out while you're building it out to know what your agents are after. Because not all three agents are you going to be able to sell if you're going just strictly after IDX. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, honestly, we're not too far off on the, like my 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 expertise in the field is is marketing and okay. i'm i'm leaning on i'm leaning on james and this crew to do the idx stuff because that's the stuff that i don't want to like i don't want to spend more than 3 seconds figuring it out i want <laughs> like i want i want them to do that stuff because like i built my business on b2c marketing and so i can help i can help real estate agents and other loan officers to do the same thing okay. um but uh, i would suggest what what you're doing um definitely bring in uh you're, especially if you're, I mean, obviously you're doing it in a high level, definitely bring in uh, memberships and courses and stuff like that. And then use the court, use the consumer facing and B2B facing um, courses as, as lead magnets. Um, that's one of my core things that, that I'm building out um, that a lot of people overlook and none of these other companies seem to be caring much about it. Like the KV cores and the boom towns and, you know, well, I mean, you know, this kind of same thing, but you know what yeah. I mean? But the, uh, like the, all of these, all of these, these companies, like they're going straight to Facebook ads, which is good, which is obviously paid ads. You're going to get, you know, you're going to get your leads, right. And then you follow up with them, but, um, to be able to, to provide the agent that doesn't have any money with the ability to organically go out there and grab lead magnets and then have a reason to have those people stick around. And that reason is the memberships and the courses on how to do it tell them to go grab their lender partner and make a bunch of videos about lending, make a bunch of videos about buying your first home, make a bunch of videos about selling then buying. And all of a sudden you've got a, you've got drip campaigns for years for these people. And when you're talking about selling to real estate agents, I mean, you can get on NAR, NAR's website. I like to say NAR, NAR statistics, um, but in, in B, like they, this, I'm going to make up all these stats on the spot, but I'm close. Like 89% of all of consumers say that they would use their real estate agent again after buying their house or after selling their house. And only like 22% of them do because real estate agents don't follow up and using this system to bring value instead of a chicken cacciatore recipe for the next three years, um, and bring actual value to their people. Um, you know, in between times of buying and selling houses, um, I think is 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 something that's that's missed in a lot of these these uh, big company CRM campaigns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would love to connect you on face with Facebook and um, uh, see what where you're headed and what you're doing, and I'll share what I'm where I'm headed and what I'm doing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from a lender standpoint, I have a bought a snap from a lender out of Texas. Um, would love to connect you with him too. Cause he's got some really, really cool things for newsletters and um, bots and stuff. But he also, uh, he's, uh, he's got multiple agents on his team, but he's gotten to where he sells, um, um, his high level, you know, SAS to, um, uh, insurance agencies and insurance mm -hmm. companies. So they're dealing with leads at a high. And so he's building it out and using that as a beta. And I mean, he's got a lot of clients and a lot of doing it, but he's using that for beta and stuff and moving it over to the mortgage and then moving it over to the real estate and how he's doing that and testing. Um, it's really neat. So really cool yeah. stuff going on. Yeah, that's and the awesome. Other thing is, is the snaps and stuff that he sells to you is like 300 bucks or something. It's not for what he's offering is really inexpensive. So uh, let's connect on uh, Facebook. Uh, if you'll drop yours in the chat, I'll uh, and we and I couldn't find you, and I'll connect you to him too. So, yeah, for sure. Well, right on. Well, I that was educational for us. I I don't know if you guys got anything out of it, but at least our the Realty Candy team we all learned from Benny and Mark today. So, we appreciate you guys joining us. Um, did did you get his did you get his link there? And I I have I'm connected to both you guys. So if you and we're both we're I'm I'm sure we're both in that Facebook. Group. Yeah, you're both in our group, so you can find each other pretty easy. Um, yeah, I got you right gonna, now. I, I have a, another appointment I'm supposed to be to in a few minutes, so I better get ready for that. But I really appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you, Maida, Carlos, and Vadim for your work and and for what you're working on. And we're excited to see what you guys do in the next. Uh, 
you know, the next week. We, we, we're looking forward to you guys showing us some new stuff. Thanks, team. Appreciate y'all. Okay, have a good Thank one. You, Benny. Okay. Cool. We'll see Goodbye. you guys.